Hey there traders, welcome back to our series on options trading. In part one, we covered the basics of what options are and why they exist. Now let's dive into how options work specifically for us as options traders. Remember, we talked about how options are like insurance for your investments. Well, that's just one way to use them. And while there is certainly an argument to be made in favor of using them like this, as options traders, we're looking at these contracts a bit differently. As traders, we're not necessarily interested in exercising the option to buy or sell the underlying stock. Instead, we're most interested in trading the options themselves. To show you why, let's break this down with an example. Imagine the stock, XYZ we'll call it, is trading at $150 per share. You believe that it's going to go up, but you don't want to shell out $150 per share or $15,000 to buy 100 shares of stock. This is where a call option comes in handy. You could buy the call option with the strike of $145, which gives you the right to buy the stock currently trading at $150 per share for only $145. That sounds like a good deal, right? Now, options are typically priced per share, but remember, options contracts control 100 shares. So if the option is priced at $8 per share, you'd pay $800 for the contract, $8 per share, times 100 shares equals one options contract. Here's where it gets interesting. Let's say the stock price jumps to 160. If you had bought the stock at $150 per share, you would have made $1,400. $10 per share times 100 shares. Not bad, right? But now I wanna show you the secret sauce. Look what happens with the option. While your stock went from 150 to 160 per share, that $8 option that you bought might be worth $15. Remember, you control 100 shares so your option is now worth $1,500. You invested $800 and now it's worth $1,500. That's a $700 profit or an 87.5% rate of return. Who said you need to be a Wall Street tycoon to see that kind of return? Compare that to the 9.3% if you bought the stock outright. Trading options is kind of like flipping houses, but without the headache and actually owning the real estate. Now here's the kicker and why I love trading options. To realize this profit, you don't need to exercise the option and buy the stock. You can simply sell the option contract itself. And that's what most options traders do. We're not interested in owning the underlying stock. I don't want Apple, I want the money. We're in it for the leverage return that the options provide. But wait, there's more. Remember how we talked about needing $15,000 to buy 100 shares of that stock at $150? With options, you only needed $800, not $8,000, $800. This means you could potentially control more shares with less capital. How's that for getting the best bang for your buck? That's the power of leverage. That's the power of options. Of course, there's a flip side to this. If the stock price doesn't move in your favor or if it doesn't move enough before the option expires, you can lose some or all of your investment. That's the trade-off for the potential of those higher percentage returns. This is why options trading, especially buying and selling options directionally, is more than simply predicting whether a stock will go up or down. It's also about how much it will move, how quickly and how that movement compares to what other traders are expecting. These factors all influence the price of the option. Remember how we said someone has to be on the other side of every options trade? Well, that could be you. Selling options can be a way to generate income, but it comes with its own set of risks and strategies. We'll dive into that in a future video. So to wrap up, as options traders, we don't normally go looking to exercise options to buy the stock. Instead, we're trading the options themselves taking advantage of leverage to potentially amplify our returns. As traders, we're in the game of probabilities, trying to profit from the price moves of the options, which are influenced by the underlying stock price until the time expires and the market expiration. In our next video, we'll start digging into how options really work. Until next time, make it a profitable day. Stay focused on the quest to becoming a great trader. Keep crushing it. And remember, you're just one trade away. Take care and I'll see you at our next video.